these days, living spaces are more personalized compared to how they were years ago. So a person's home is a reflection of his or her personality. Last August, a Shangri-La Plaza held an exhibit presenting a variety of home designs styled by personalities from different fields. Modern Living's in-house designer, G. Pambid, takes us through this wonderful showcase of creativity. We are now here at the Grand Atrium, the Shangri-La Plaza, to witness a never-before-seen event wherein nine vignettes are going to be styled by different creators in different fields in urban Filipino home. And now a very interesting twist of events in Modern Living TV. I have the honor of interviewing Steph. This is so strange. <laughs> But because I'm now really, the tables I'm really are turned. I'm thrilled. I'm really thrilled. I'm so happy you're on our team now. Yes, thank you for welcoming me. And Steph, first question. What was your inspiration for this vignette? Okay, definitely I'm a mom of two boys, right? So definitely had to be a boy's room. And if you notice, I really chose muted colors and grown-up furniture. I believe that kids' rooms here sometimes tend to be too bright, too childlike. And, you know, they just make it kalat. And, you know, their lives are so stimulating. So I wanted a space that was very calming for them, that they can go home to and cozy up with. And then even if they make color their bright toys, it looks okay. It still looks clean. Correct. And they can grow up in this room. So this is actually a very well put together room in terms of color. Did you really intentionally use like muted uh, tones. Their toys are already very bright. Exactly. Right? So if you have a bright room plus bright toys na nakakalat and then bright books, when do you have peace of mind? For moms who want to dabble into design, what tips could you give them? Choose furniture with long-term thinking. Think furniture pieces that even a 15-year-old would like to have. I would love this piece. Up to now, right? So if your your big ticket items are neutral, easy, timeless pieces, then you can always change with as your children change. Welcome, Raho, Thank to you. Modern Living TV. Thank you, Modern uh, Living up, TV. First up, what is the space that was assigned to you? I, I ended up doing like a creative sanctuary, a place where uh, I can just shut off from the world and just relax and chill. It's very similar to what we have at home. Essentially, I love books. I love art. I love living things. Those are the three elements that sort of began the, the space. How would you define your design style in terms of like interiors? I mean, in terms of my design aesthetic, I'm always joyful. It's always optimistic and it's always about making myself happy. Interior spaces, it's all about emotion. So, you know, I try to fill in my little space with the things that I personally enjoy. Essentially, I just want, I thought of a place where I can just sort of like put off my phone, close my computer, and just chill. I have this space where I can create, not thinking and worrying about the traffic, not worrying about the ills and evils of the world, and just be happy in this space. So those are the things I considered. Welcome to Modern Living TV. Hello, thank you. If you were to design a dream house, for instance, what would it be? I've always believed that a home should look like it's lived in. People shouldn't be afraid to dirty it, make a mess. Uh, we have a lot of games like Pick Up Sticks is definitely a messy game. Uh, we have like all the board games to make sure that interaction really happens in the house. Well, how did you find the entire experience? Were you pressured? Did you I was enjoy super it? pressured because I am not like a professional in any way and I know that my style is not classic. But people seem to like it and I guess they appreciate that it shows like my personality and this is exactly you know what what we have in our home. Well, there you have it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ta-da! We're now at my vignette. I was assigned a dining room which was actually my favorite because it allowed me to really experiment 
with a lot of different things that we want to be able to put together. We wanted to be able to create something very different and unique for the dining setting. So in this particular case, I only made do with just a couple of dining chairs. The rest of the table for six were actually made up of a couch over here that sits two. And of course, over to the other side, we have a bench. In this particular case, it gives, of course, ideas on how something unique can also become something very cozy and creative. Plus, we added a little bit of class and elegance with the plates, with the silverware, and of course, with the flower arrangements. This is now how nine different personalities can actually come together to design, of course, nine different vignettes only here at the Urban Filipino Home at the Grand Atrium of Shangri-La Plaza. Thank you for joining us today here at Fashion Interiors by Paul Cornelison. And please do find time to see us again next week as we give you another exclusive tour of a beautiful celebrity home. And a one-on-one -on -one interview with the author of the moment, Kevin Kwan. Yay! That's something we definitely do not want to miss. Plus, of course, your weekly dose of home styling tips. All that and more coming your way next weekend. From living spaces to living life beyond its confines. This is your ultimate guide to modern living.